going on Scorpios welcome back to the channel Elevated Spirits it's Jazzy your reader for today this is going to be your next 72 reading Let's see what comes out it's general in nature so we could touch on anything any subject any topic of life all right so I hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are doing your best to stay as grounded and stable and hydrated and just in a good flow of good energy as much as possible okay we do have a new moon coming on the 19th. I cannot remember what sign it's in, so I'm not even going to gash you and pretend like I remember because I do not at this moment. So, yeah. Hope you guys are still, you know, preparing in advance, setting your intentions so you can get that, you know, get new things popping with this new energy. So, let's see what's going on for Scorpio's the next 72 spirit. For those of you that are interested in booking a private consultation, checking out your other elements playlists. Um, checking out your other elements playlist, donating to the channel, checking out my Etsy wish list. All that information can and will be found in the description box of every single one of my videos, right? So first out we have is inner wisdom and divine feminine. So I feel like for some of you, um, Scorpio, some of you may be guided this week, you know, I mean, during this time, during the next 72 hours to really tap into your divine feminine energy, meaning take a break, take a rest. Um, this could be talking about tapping into your creativity, um, you know, allowing, you know, if there's emotions that maybe come up at this time, allowing that energy to flow. Okay. Let's see what else there for Scorpios. Cause you, you guys are a water sign. So it makes sense. This is your energy all day long. Plus this is this divine feminine here represents the moon. So with the moon energy here. So this is about, you know, letting that, that any of those, that pent up emotions that may be surfacing at this time, trying to come up to come out. Cause the moon, the moon is still waning at this time. Meaning this is the perfect time to push out, push things away from you that you don't want that no longer serve that you know are just painful that you've already you know learned the lessons from this is the energy of pushing away things that you know aren't benefiting you that are no longer in harmony with where you're at right now okay let's see what else oh clearance yeah so some of you there's you know some energy that needs to be cleared here for some of you it is an actual divine feminine energy that some of you have been kind of like holding back holding back from or kind of like trying to keep like keeping to yourself in some type of way um the spirit really wants you to take some time within the next 72 and you know really tap into your higher self really take that time to meditate come back home to yourself to really get clear about what it is that you need to do what clearing needs to be done i feel like some of you have a lot of creative ideas things that you're trying to birth things that you're trying to manifest it doesn't matter what gender you are um but this is about it's like allowing yourself to clear out any of the energy that isn't letting that live that isn't letting you know the energy that maybe or the manifestations that you're trying to see or these creative ideas that some of you are trying to um you know create or like come like let come to you it's like about clearing the energy to allow those things to come in you have to be able to make room you know for the things that you want meaning clearing out things that don't serve things that have you know ran its course allowing us to you know allow ourselves to really identify what that is for us and then make room by cleansing clearing out whether it's actual physical space or clearing out energetic space to make room for these new ideas these new energies these new experiences whatever that is for you okay i feel like there's for some of you parts of you that are trying to you know be birthed like new ideas that are coming that you guys have been like sitting on kind of holding back kind of like you know keeping within because it's just maybe you don't have the time you don't feel like you have the time at least but this is about making time some of you this has to do with the breakup okay closure so for some of you this uh, this could definitely have to do with the person that you're um that you're needing to you know really allow yourself to go within and, and decide i feel like for some of you this has been like a long time coming that some of you have been maybe concealing this this energy maybe holding in this energy that's you know kind of like been harboring this this like I feel like some of you kind of know that there's a breakup that needs to happen or a breakup you know would be good. Even if it's not something you necessarily want, I feel like some of you know that it would benefit you in doing so. Benefit you by disconnecting from this whoever this divine feminine energy is and really allowing yourself to cleanse your space. I feel like some of you know that in doing so, it would really benefit you. It would really allow your blessings to come in. But for some of you, it's like you're not allowing that to happen. But um, I feel like, you know, within the next 72 hours, some of you are really being guided to really tap into you know what is making you hold on to that you know what is you know why are we why are we holding on to things that we know aren't making us happier with things that we know we would be better served if we didn't have them in our life anymore you know it's ran its course we've outgrown you know sometimes the situations or connections we've outgrown things like that we're just not happy anymore we've outgrown each other we're just going down different paths we just you know things are just changing in such a way where it's just we can't it's no longer healthy to coexist whatever that is for you so some of you are being asked to really take a look at that within the next 72 hours, okay? Spirit, what else is going on for camp, uh, my cancer? 
some of you this could be a cancer who you're dealing with who we're talking about this divine feminine could be a cancer i just did cancer's reading though so if you have cancer in your chart you might want to check that reading out as well it's really good so ooh, scuba dive pisces energy and flag so yeah this is about going deep within okay um really going within to your subconscious mind here which is still about the inner wisdom you know really going within going deep down within to you know and that for some of you is talking about diving into your own feminine energy really diving deep into your emotional space to really connect to that part of you that we don't want to look at that deep dark part that we tend to shy away from that we want to keep hidden keeps you know to ourselves and keep enclosed because you know we're, we're afraid we're afraid of judgment we're afraid of you know who might have access and what they might do all these things but um i feel like at the end of the day it's like by you doing that is what's going to help you master your emotions for some of you it's mastering your emotions or mastering yourself in some type of way um i feel like for some of you this could you know it could bring closure to a particular situation by you doing this i feel like that's a lot of people don't know that when you go when you allow yourself to really dive deep into the shadow of yourself that that dark part of you that deep dark part that you know isn't always good or it's you know frowned upon or that people would judge and say is evil and all that it all serves a purpose that's the duality we need both right we need the dark and the light to exist we need the pol the polarity the duality so i feel like for some of you as you allow yourself to do that that's where you, you some of you might be discovering gifts like what i was saying a lot of people don't realize that when they allow themselves to go in those deep dark pits of themselves that's where they find their gifts that's where they find you know in the shadow when you put a flashlight on things that are dark it's not dark anymore right and that's where sometimes we discover new things new parts of ourselves that we wouldn't have known otherwise had we not allowed ourselves to do that and i feel like some of you in doing so is going to help you achieve something whether it's um something you've been asking for like i said for some of you it's definitely blessings that you've been that you've been manifesting that have been just waiting you know to come to life but for some of you it's about needing to really allow yourself to dive deep into that part of you and for some of you it's about clearing out this divine feminine energy so that's the, and that's make maybe that's part of two why cancer came up because um for not only that it's a you know another water sign but that divine feminine card also came out for them and i shuffle these decks very very well before i do you know each before i start another reading so the fact that that card came out again for you guys though it, it, there could definitely be a correlation there so like i said i feel like some of you definitely have blessings coming here and you're going to need to set boundaries though with maybe a divine feminine energy for some of you it's about setting boundaries with this person and really speaking your truth really being honest about you know what it is that you feel what it is that you know or where you're at on your journey and what needs to happen you know for your highest and greatest good some of you have been you know already thinking about this or kind of already you know in that energy of kind of like trying to figure out how to go about it and you've been kind of keeping it to yourself i feel like some of you like i said have had a, maybe a lot of you know pent up you know emotions or pain or resentment or whatever it is that some of you have been holding back and concealing and you got to realize when we do that and we don't allow ourselves to express that and get rid of those energies by i.e cleansing them away out of our own energetic field or clearing out those connections that bring it you know that only creates dis-ease which is you know disease right it's the dis-ease in your body the imbalance of energy that essentially turns can easily turn into physical ailments in your vessel so got to keep that in mind so let's see spirit what else is going on for scorpios next 72 hours so they need to know what's going on yeah five of cups let's see all right this tried to come out it didn't so i'm not taking it but for some of you this is definitely something that's painful because of all that's been invested i feel like you really care about someone but i feel like some of you just it's you know that it's time that i feel like it's like you know it's gotten to a point where you know it's just not working anymore okay where it feels like a loss because of all the maybe the time invested you know that you maybe have grown a lot with this person but i feel like some of you have just you've outgrown it's like the the season has ran its course is what i'm getting here so clarify the five cups please what is here for scorpio and, and for some of you, this is something that maybe you've been holding back because you feel like, you know, it's going to be a loss for someone else. But at the same time, it's like you have to get to you allow yourself to get to a point where you have to be honest with yourself and realize, like, if you're not happy somewhere or you're not thriving somewhere, there's blessings that you're potentially missing out on by staying in a situation that you know you don't belong in or you know that is no longer for your highest and greatest good. You have to make a decision. See, at some point, you have to choose yourself. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. You have free will. You don't have to do anything. But when you don't it'll eat you alive literally like all the opportunities that you watch pass you and the regret the resentment that builds up that you beat yourself up with by not making the choice sooner 
it's like do you really want to do that to yourself you know what i'm saying so clarifying the five of cups is the two of swords and the eight of swords so this is definitely i feel like something that you guys have not been wanting to look at some of you have been definitely avoiding this because you know it's going to feel like a loss but spirit is asking you to be brave to really take this idea step into this courage and just do it i feel like some of you may be taking a lot of time and really thinking about it spending a lot of time in your head over analyzing kind of like rehashing you know all this you know stuff that's making it just it's making it harder than it needs to be the longer you do that i feel like it's making it more and more difficult so i feel like you know some of you in the next 72 there may be something that's happening something taking place or just you know something that kind of hits you out of nowhere where you're where you know it's being made more clear now than ever that this needs to happen that needs to be done okay so what else for scorpios next 72 yeah something's not in balance something is not balanced here okay some of you you're maybe not getting the attention you need you maybe not getting the attention you want from this person this person could just be a simply a clout chaser and that's why things are not balanced things are it, it may be causing turmoil in your own equilibrium where some of you are having a hard time you know um banishing off negative energies or like getting rid of them clearing them from your auric field because of a connection that you know it's time to release this you know it's time to let go of and for some of you you've maybe if this is a person you're dealing with this could be simply an opportunity that like this has happened because for some of you there's a mother wound that needs to be addressed and that's again something that came up for cancer so like i said if you have cancer in your chart you're dealing with one you might want to watch that reading because that came up for them as well with this mother wound that you know when you allow yourself to transmute and heal that energy and realize that you're taking potentially taking on you know someone else's problems someone else's baggage someone else's wounds and experiences and taking them on as your own how much that affects you for some of you you're missing out on you know opportunities for ultimate success like i said for some of you it's your own blessings that you're missing out on at this time because of you know not being able to transmit the energy or just being you know really having a lack of balance for some of you it's like your your patience is like worn thin with someone okay and i feel like that could be another reason why some of you are really finding it hard or really you know over analyzing the situation or kind of like running it over and over in your mind and it's like running you ragged where you don't have the energy you would need to do the things that you want to do to maybe even open up for these blessings i feel like you know and that's because you have there's energy here that needs to be cleared out in order to make room for what it is you're asking for it wants to come to you it's not that you're not worthy or deserving but we have to make room for it and that sometimes requires people or situations or circumstances that we've outgrown or that no longer serve you know the purpose not everybody's meant to go where you're going not everybody is supposed to go where you're going right there, you know, every season is different and that goes with people and relationships and connections as well. Partnerships, business ships, you know, all that stuff. It has, they all have their own season. We just don't know, always know how long that season is. So I feel like some of you are really being asked in the next 72 to really be honest with yourself, really go within and dive deep into your, that core, that dark place within yourself and really really ask yourself, why am I holding on to this? If I know it doesn't, why am I refusing to look at this? What am I really not trying to look at? What am I refusing to acknowledge and identify within myself that's making me hold on to things or people that I know I need to let go of, or I know that, you know, I'm really not happy here, but I'm, I'm holding on to it for the sake of comfort or for the sake of, you know, because they need me or what would this do to them by me deciding and choosing myself in a situation you know sometimes it's not your job it's not your journey to worry about how it's going to affect other people as long as you're doing it from a place of integrity from a place of authenticity and being real with yourself and just being honest and be like yo like i'm really not trying to hurt you but you know this isn't working anymore i'm not happy anymore i haven't been happy anymore some of you are needing to have that conversation if that applies okay spirit what else for scorpio like 72 But it's like, like I said, at the end of the day, once you do this, you'll win. Okay. So King of Wands here. This is, let's see, clarify the King of Wands spirit. For some of you, this could be someone coming towards you or you being able to embody this energy once you do this clearing and once you let go of whatever this is. For some of you, that's, you know, what you step into is having that passion within you, that motivation, that drive re-sparked to go forward. Okay. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Tower. All right. So I feel like some of you, it's like, you know, this needs to be done. And you're kind of like, I feel like some of you may be kind of motivated and driven to do it, but it's stressing you the fuck out. Some of you, it's really causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing for some of you, you're not sleeping well because of this. And I feel like it's, it's, it's like, if you don't do it, the tower is going to do it itself. Something is going to happen where the universe is going to step in and decide for you. And that, and you know, it's kind of like, do you want to wait for that? Do you want to let the universe step in and divinely intervene on your behalf? 
right? That's a question you have to ask yourself because you don't know what that's going to look like. By you taking the action and using your free will to be like, you know what, I know this isn't working. Let me go ahead and just take care of this while I have control of the situation because you got to know how loved you are by the universe. The universe is only going to let you suffer for so long, right? Before it steps in and decides, look, I've waited long enough for you to do this, but because you won't do it, I'm going to need to do it because we got a mission. We got stuff to complete. We got things to handle. We got people to help, people to heal, all that stuff. You guys are the healers of the bloodline. So I already know that a lot of you Scorpios are kind of like loyal to a fault. You guys will stay in situations, at least Scorpios that I know. That's not going to apply to everyone, but because at the end of the day, we're energetic beings. That means we can embody, you know, the energy of any sign at any given time. So, you know, never get too hung up on the signs. That's why a lot of people were like, you know, what sign are you? Blah, blah. And they tell you one thing. You're like, oh, I thought you were this. That's because we're all, you know, you can embody the sign of any, of any, you can embody the energy of any sign at any time. So, you know, don't get too hung up on that. But I just really feel like you guys are at this point where you need to make a decision or the universe is going to do it for you. So it's kind of like, what do you, what do you want? How you want this to go? Okay. Let's get an overall outcome message here for the next 72 for two of wands in reverse. You already know what decision needs to be made. I feel like you, you already know. Some of you have been just fighting it. You've been fighting yourself on this decision, but you already know what path you need to choose. It's just, you know, a, you deciding that I'm going to do this and letting the rest flow, letting the rest follow. Even if you don't know what that, what, what the path ahead beyond that looks like you don't always need to know that sometimes just taking that first step and the universe will lay the path before your feet as you go okay some of you this is about allowing yourself to trust that you know and making this decision because you know it's what you need to do that the universe will guide you the rest of the way you just have to make that first step take that first leap okay what's two of wands in reverse spirit why is it here for scorpio ace of wands like i said you already know what needs to be done it's just a matter of you deciding you know and taking this opportunity for some of you it's like once you make that decision you'll have all that the inspiration that maybe some of you have been lacking right that it gets re-sparked it's like it gets reignited immediately for some of you but for others of you this is like you know you taking this opportunity to actually do this this could be a new opportunity that's presenting itself to you that's going to help you make this decision even more easier to make but again do you want to wait do you want to wait for the universe to step in you know before that happens you can't guarantee that you know the universe ain't going to just make it all like i said come crashing down okay before that but for others of you this could just be saying that you know spirit is asking you to create this own tower for yourself meaning you do this before the universe does it so i feel like it may feel like a tower it may be sudden it may be unexpected but a lot of times it's not is it really is it really sudden and unexpected just because somebody else didn't know about it like a lot of people like especially when it comes to some of you, this could be talking about a feminine energy within your experience, but for some of you, you are the divine feminine that needs to make this decision for yourself. And so I feel like for some of you, um, you know, this is spirit saying like you need to make the make that tower where it seems like a lot of people don't know what I was getting at um, is a lot of people don't know when they're dating women that women will leave emotionally before they leave physically. So I feel like for some of you, this it may seem sudden and unexpected to the receiver or whoever's on the opposite end of this but deep down i feel like for those of you where it applies you've already been left you've already left this connection but you just maybe haven't left physically because you maybe didn't know what the other like i said what what the other side of that looks like you know what what where do i go next how do i navigate after that you know and i feel like this is where spirit is really asking you to really dive deep into yourself into your subconscious you know where that fear lies and to ask yourself what am i really afraid of you know the universe is protecting me up until this point every situation that every challenge you've had if you're watching this video every challenge you've experienced you've survived 100 percent. was it hard probably absolutely i wouldn't doubt it but did you survive it did you get through it did you come out on the other side of it if you can say yes to that then this is you know another indication that you don't need to know what the other side looks like you just need to make the choice and create this tower for yourself and decide that this should like i need i just i need to do something different and that's where you making the decision that you already know you need to make right opens up new doors of opportunity that maybe you know you've been waiting on but have been purposely held back and contained from you concealed from you right until this was done until this happened for some of you this is a big secret that you're keeping okay this is something that you've been maybe hiding information you've been hiding for the, some of you this could be information or things that's happening behind the scenes that you're not even aware of that maybe other people are hiding from you and that's why some of you are knowing that there's something that you're that you know you know you're it's like something don't feel right something isn't there's you don't have all the information you don't have there's something things that are being hidden things that are not being said things are not being spoken whether that's you are on somebody else's end but you know there's a reason that that energy is here and then it's showing up here again 
So for some of you, if this is, you know, like I said, take it as it applies, it's not going to be for everyone. But for some of you, this is like, you know, pent up emotions, pent up, you know, um, energy that you know you need to go ahead and, you know, express. But some of you have been scared to do it. You've been holding it inside and spirit is saying you need to go ahead and let, you know, express yourself. Let that be known. Let it be said. Let it be heard because you will be victorious on the other side of this. Okay. So let's get some advice. Close with some advice for Scorpios. wants you to sacrifice surrender this connection right sacral is your center of creativity your manifestations it's like i feel like some of you don't realize that your your manifestations that could have already been in your life and your experience are being blocked right now they're literally being held back until you do this because like i said not everybody's meant to go where you're going not everybody you know it's like for some of you it's like not only not everybody's meant to go where you're going because they have their own contract and things like that but for some of you it's like people have their own karma that there's that they're needing to deal with and by you sticking around and being in their energy being in their life or keeping them in yours is essentially you going to be getting caught in the crossfire of their karma when it comes do you want to be there for that that's something you have to ask yourself because you know you never you really don't know which you know where that applies but if you know all you need to know is that if this doesn't feel right i know i'm you know kind of worn out my welcome with this person or about growing this connection or this partnership this job this environment whatever it is it's time to make a decision. It's time to choose yourself in the situation. So let's see. Advice for Scorpio, please. Justice. So this is about, you know, restoring balance in the situation, but doing things, doing it in a just and fair manner, meaning that you're doing it from a place of integrity. Like I was saying earlier, that's exactly following your heart, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving the person or for, you know, whatever role they played, but also forgiving yourself and having compassion for yourself and just knowing that whatever decision you know you need to make, you're doing it from your heart. You're doing it from a place of, I'm not trying to hurt anybody or, you know, hurt myself in this matter, but I know that this needs to happen. You know, this is what's best for everybody right now. And I feel like spirit really wants you to, you know, take that into account that, you know, anything that's, that's hidden, anything that's been done behind the scenes, karma will always take care of it. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Let's get one more spirit for advice. Two of cups. Okay. So this is about, you know, reconnecting to that energy within yourself right looking at you looking at yourself in the mirror that's essentially what this represents your spiritual connection is your feminine and masculine energy right looking at each other you know that's that mirror that mirror image allowing yourself to really go within and ask yourself be real with yourself be honest with yourself by healing those aspects you have no choice but to attract a you know the like mirror just like you so i feel like for some of you you're kind of realizing that a situation you know was there to teach you something okay this this person this situation whatever it is is there to teach you something but now it's served its purpose and now it's time to release it and, and gain closure for some of you once you clear this energy you will get closure on a situation or you know a cycle for some of you this is a karmic cycle a cycle that's been repeating that maybe you haven't been wanting to look at you haven't been wanting to see it for what it is see it for the truth that it is but this is time where it's time to do that where it's time to really look look at yourself and be honest with yourself and decide am i happy here is this still in alignment for me? Is this still taking me, you know, taking me to the next level in my journey? Is this really benefiting me right now by staying here? Is this benefiting the other person knowing that I'm not happy and I'm just keeping it a secret? I'm keeping it to myself, right? You know, is that really helping anybody in the situation? If it's not, then it's time to make the decision that you know you need to make. Just not avoid it. Because the longer we avoid it, like I said, the universe is going, you know, make it happen. And then it won't, it'll be even more uncomfortable, right? So at the bottom... We have the nine of pentacles and the two um the high priestess so for some of you this is definitely talking about you know being independent focusing on your independence focusing on you know um your financial stability all on your own being single right thriving on your own following your intuition about that okay some of you this is what you want that you really want to be single and and this is something you've been keeping secret you know you've been keeping it to yourself but again because we have secrets come out twice that's also what the high priestess represents is that not only someone that's intuitively very intuitively tuned in and guided but you know has a lot of things that we keep to ourselves. so for some of you this is something that some of you really want to be single and you've been keeping that a secret but this is you know spirit is saying like there's things you're missing out on by not being honest with yourself let alone being honest with someone else okay so scorpios that's what i have for you i really hope you found resonance and clarity in your situation and i send you all the love positivity and strength to do what needs to